Hi guys, welcome to Richie's Game of Gadgets and Gizmos. So I have uh, been having Wi-Fi issues in my house for a while. Um, what you're looking at is my good, hard-working friend, the D-Link DIR615 wireless router. I have had this for, I think, nearly eight years. Um, and when I first got it, I was living in a small little apartment. So it was perfect for me, you know, a little bachelor pad. And it provided the best internet access but a lot of things have happened and I'm in a bigger place, there's a lot more people where I live now and all of us are trying to watch Netflix, download stuff, upload stuff, play gaming, like wireless gaming, like streaming from our PS4 system onto our PS Vita for example, uh, wireless PC gaming, uh, streaming from our PCs onto, you know, onto our wireless devices, a lot of stuff happens um, on this thing all at the same time at times. Um, and a lot of times this poor little device has overheated. Um, we had to reset the reset the router every couple of day, a couple times a day. To, we had to reset it because it had issues like d distributing private IP addresses to devices. It was just kind of a hassle. So I finally got around to finding something that is on the other uh, other side of the spectrum when it comes to power. So let's just say this is David and the Goliath version to this is drumroll introducing the D-Link AC5300 tri-band gigabit router this bad boy I think will solve the issues that I've been having in my house and um, yeah I mean this is like high-end stuff this is pretty expensive um, now if you are looking for a router for your house um, and you want to you know do basic stuff I wouldn't recommend this. This is more on the side of if you have a lot of stuff that depends on a very resilient Wi-Fi router that you know requires multiple channels and has smart sense technology when it can de detect the type of device that it's connecting to and give you the appropriate throughput, then you you may want to get this. And um, you know if you you know do have the budget for it and you really do need something pretty resilient and pretty powerful, this one has a dual core processor by the way. Um, I definitely would recommend. Just checking out the specs on this, and if it's in your price range, definitely go out for it. Um, one thing I always say, you know, you should never really skimp on. They always say, you know, you know how they always say, never, you, you, you never have enough ice at a party. Well, <laughs> when it comes to Wi-Fi connectivity and coverage, you can never have enough Wi-Fi coverage and throughput, especially in your house. So here we have the D-Link Wireless AC5300 Tri-Band Gigabit Router. If you want the ultimate Wi-Fi um, router for your house, um, I mean, if you have a mansion, this is something that you need because this has coverage. Again, it's triple band, um, high-powered antennas, so this has some serious reach. Um, even if you have a, you're in a standard house and you have problems getting um, coverage in your basement or in your attic or even in your backyard. And you want something that is very, very, very powerful, maybe even a tad bit of an overkill. And my personal view on overkill is there is no such thing as overkill when it comes to getting Wi-Fi coverage and high-speed wireless access to my internet connection. So, that being said, go all the way, guys. Get the wireless AC5300. This is what I have right here. Look at some of the, the features. I mean, what I love about the box, it tells you everything you need to know about this. Um, so this has a dual core processor, right? How many routers do you know have dual cores other than computers, right? I mean, now we have yeah, quad core, opto core, but for a router to have a dual core processor, that gives you an indication of you know what this can do. Um, it has smart connect um, technology, um, four by four data streams. Um, it has uh, ultra range. <laughs> That's why I, one of the reasons I got it. Of course, another reason I got it is for 4K HD streaming. Um, gaming optimized, another big reason I got this. Um, Multi-device optimized, QoS. Uh, so one thing about the gaming. So there are a lot of features nowadays where you can have streaming from your PS4, for example, uh, through your Wi-Fi network in your home to your PS Vita, right? Or from your PC, uh, you can stream to uh, you can stream gaming to um, uh, like a Surface Pro 3 tablet or whatever, right? Just so those are some examples. So 
Um, a lot of the, the basic routers that you have today, like the single band and even some of the double band routers, um, you may get some issues, right? There may be some glitchiness when it comes to gameplay. With this bad boy, you don't get that problem. Anyway, so we have uh, multi-device optimized, so, so this you can have a ton of devices in the house connected to this, and it will, you know, provide the, the most optimal connection for each device, depending on what the use type is, the amount of throughput needed, and whatnot. Um, of course, it's QoS, quality of service, right? I.e. QoS, it just gives, um, depending on the type of traffic, you get prioritization, right? So, for example, a simple use case, if you have voice, voice would obviously have high priority over a lot of other things, right? Because you cannot really risk having a lag in voice, tra um, qual um, voice communications because uh, you, you, the, the voice quality would be jittered, there'd be jittered, there'd be lag, and you know. So that's just some examples. Um, gigabit ports, yes. There is there are wireline connections on this thing, and they are up to gigabit speeds. Crazy. Um, dual USB ports, backwards compatible, um, um, MU MIMO compatible. Wow. So MIMO means multiple in, multiple out, and that's a, a antenna configuration where you can have multiple antennas sending data at the same time to one single device. Um, so it's like having, uh, say, four servers and you're downloading the same data from four servers. Um, each four, All four servers at the same time may not be able to, to send you um, the right amount of data, but you know another server may have it, right? So between those four servers, you get all the data you need. That's a, that's a very high level, very crude description of what this technology is all about, uh, but it's pretty cool. Again, now triple band. That's nice and high powered Wi Fi. So, this bad boy, and it's in red, of course, and you know I love red. So, anyway, let's uh, get off this plastic wrapping here. Let's see if I can get this box off. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can smell the newness. Oh yes, has that new car smell. So that's all this like foam to protect it. And it's one of those boxes, you know that you know what? I'm not throwing this box out. It's a very nice solid box. But just look at that. There she is. Oh, it looks like a mini like uh, drone. <laughs> right. So look at that. In all glory. So it looks like a mini drone. Really nice. So it comes with three boxes. I'm gonna put these here to the side put it to the side of the box for a second. I don't know if anything's in that. Yeah, it feels like something's in there. And what I'm gonna do here, just take this out of the box. Let me angle it like that so I can see a bit clearer. So this is all packaging. This is just like to protect it, right? Now, don't get me wrong. This ain't cheap, right? Uh, so look at that. If you look closely, all of the antennas is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. There's eight antennas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight antennas that are on the side here that I'm going to have to connect into it. So let me just take the unit out. Look at that. See the D-Link logo. Uh, the AC5300 Ultra Wi-Fi router. Just looking at the ports there. Um, you can see all the good ports. Let me hold it carefully. So we have USB 3.0, USB 2.0, reset hole, the WPS, that's like the reset button. And here we have our four um, uh, uh, Wireline ports, uh, RJ45 ports, right, for wireline connection uh, to the internet. Our internet link here is where you connect into your um, your your internet out out to the outside world. So you're um, depending on whatever technology you have. If you have a cable modem or you have ADSL, I hope not. But if you have something like cable modem or fiber to your home, um, like I do, I'm lucky. Uh, you can know, connect it through this um, power switch, of course, DC in, and here we have. Our router ex router extender button. So we're going to see what that means in a second. And of course, we have the ports here for all of our antennas, and there's eight of them. See here, and these are like mini coax, literally mini um, male coax connectors. So the six through on each side here, and then at the back here, we have two different types of antenna. All right. 
So I'm not sure if the two at the back are for uploading and these six are for you know downloading uh, downloading information but I will find out in a second and here uh, we have uh, indicators right here so there's power um, there's a, a picture of a, of a of the globe so I would assume that's the internet link right if you have a connection to the internet and there are one two uh, three Wi-Fi two two Wi-Fi logos here see what those mean here is a USB connector um, logo and then here is another type of connect at the bottom. Looks like another a type of USB. Uh, when I look at the manual, I'll go into a bit more detail and once I find out what those mean. But that's what I'm seeing there. Let me just rest this here for a sec. Now at the bottom here, we have instruction manuals and stuff in here. So this rest is up top there. Nothing at the bottom, but then we have our antennas. Now, the way these antennas were placed, I'm... Um, strategically placed these two at the back I'm going to assume go to on the back here and then these three and these three go on either side it just makes sense and I'm sure if I go into the manual it's going to tell me the same thing so um, let me just take these out okay let's put this over here oh one more thing on the bottom here it tells you what all the ports are right here and it gives you, you know, all the information that you need right there. So just put that out to the side for a second. And take these out. That's one. Let's see where else. Let's put this over here. It's one. Let's go back a second. So before I run ahead and hook up these antennas, let me see what's in these boxes. Um, ow. So here we have uh, RJ45 jumper cable. That's for wireline connections. We have some mounting screws. You want to mount this bad boy on a wall. Power supply. Yeah, pretty pretty bulky because this I'm sure requires quite a bit of power. You know, dual core processors and all that, and all the radios in here. Uh, this box, it's just an empty dud, nothing in there, not just to keep everything um, together in the box. It, was, you know, it just takes up space so nothing jostles around, moves around. And in this box, we have our AC power cable that connects into the uh, adapter. Pretty thick. Huh? Yeah, pretty, pretty. Alright, and then of course here we have our instructions and, and all, that, all that nice stuff. Alright, configuration card. You're not going to want to see that. That has in um, all my login details like a default password and SSID. And here's the quick install guide. Pretty intuitive. What I like first off, it's in color. You go in here, well, at least the front is in color, but it tells you the antenna configuration. Optimal 45 degrees, yeah. Um, how to connect your router, right? How to connect it up to your cable or DSL modem. Uh, nice, simple instructions. And then go into how to configure it via a web browser, right? Of course, uh, they give you. Um, SSID and um, uh, a default password to get log in. So when you log in, then you can then change everything up, and then uh, you can then configure a router actually via your phone, and you can actually download the app for iOS, Android. Um, you can scan these, um, all right? You can scan these codes, and it then and then you, it takes you to the correct page on the App Store to download the app, and you can actually configure your 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 router. Uh, via your phone or your wireless device now that is pretty decent so you don't have to have a full-blown PC right from, from from back in the old days to set this up and um, yeah and then um, of course here we have it in our good old fashioned French here um, all right so that's the quick install guide so I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, connect these antennas to the base unit 
Just be gentle with this. Screw them in. I'm going to screw them in all too tight because uh, just like a typical coax connection. I'm just going to actually like that. Another one here. Those are the frequencies, of course, that we communicate within the house. All right. 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Part of our spectrum. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring these up. Yeah, this looks like some type of aircraft or like a drone, honestly. <laughs> wow. Look at that, looks like a crab. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set this up, um, and what I will do in part two of this is actually go through the steps to set up this router. Now it should be like any other router, but because it is a you know, high-end AC5300 by D-Link, I honestly want to document setting this up and share it with you. By the way, if you want to get yourself one of these cool high-end wireless routers, tri-band gigabit router, uh, from D-Link, check the links below the screen, and um, yeah, there's a couple places I found this on that you can get it at a, you know, pretty decent price, so check them out. Okay, bye-bye. Hi everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, two quick things that I need you to do right now. One is hit the subscribe button below this video, and I strongly urge that you do subscribe to this channel because what we've started doing now, end of month giveaways. Now, to be eligible to win uh, a prize at the end of the month, what you have to be you have to be subscribed to this channel so subscribe press that subscribe button below that's step number one so it's a two-step process to be eligible to win one subscribe that's very very important two go on to our website at www.redtechbot.com and on that website on the top right hand corner there is a newsletter uh, that you must subscribe to enter your email address in that and that's it you are eligible you'll be eligible to win our, our end of month uh, prize draws. Now, I just repeat myself one more time. Number one, hit the subscribe button below this video to subscribe to this channel. That's one of the requirements. And two, you have to go onto our website at www.redtechbot.com and subscribe to our newsletter. In that newsletter, you'll get all the details about what's being given away at the end of the month, uh, who the winners are, and other important news as well. And in terms of getting more information on how the drawer is going to work and you know how are you going to pick the, uh, the individual, how are we going to communicate and everything, uh, all the details will be on our website as well at www.redtechbot.com. So until next time, happy gaming and have a good one guys. Okay, so see you later guys.